What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get three, I guess I, you couldn't say, you wouldn't say hidden um, things in Go Simulator, but they're kind of tucked away a little bit into areas of the game that you wouldn't normally find if you were just kind of randomly playing around with the game. So what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to, um, how to become Demon Goat, how to become, uh, how you become the Goat King, and also how to... I've completely forgotten. Oh, and how to play, um, how, where to find and, and play, uh, Flappy Goat, which is basically the Goat Simulator, uh, parody of Flappy Bird, pretty obvious, but, um, the first one we're gonna do is actually, uh, Flappy Goat, because it's a super easy thing to find. All you have to do is go straight to the Coffee Stain Studios headquarters, which is right up the road. All you have to do is kind of walk out of spawn, go right up the road, turn in here, and Coffee Stain Studios should be right here on your right. And you're gonna head straight in. You can uh, you can mess up this uh, this office if you want to. Um, you can get quite a bit of score actually from doing this. Uh, quite a bit of points from doing this. But um, actually, if we go ahead and make our way upstairs. We could actually find um, the actual parody of uh, Flappy Goat. Well, parody of Flappy Bird, which is Flappy Goat. Now, normally you would come in here and mess everything, like you know, just get rid of everything. But I like to uh, I like to keep this area relatively clean so the TV isn't blocked by anything, and you can basically see Flappy Goat turns on automatically, and all you have to do is press R to start the game, and you immediately fall. So it's it's basically very close to exactly what Flappy Bird is. I'm very bad at it. Um, if you touch any of those things, obviously you lose. And I am, ex as you can see, I'm extremely bad at, at, at that, and I will um, I will rage very quickly uh, if I keep playing it. But if you guys want to check that out. Then, um, then that's where you go to find Flappy Goat. Now, all, now to find the uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, we're gonna become the Goat King. Now, becoming the Goat King is really easy. You just have to go into an area that you normally wouldn't think to go into. Um, it's a really simple thing to do. There's nothing really you have to do. The only thing that you the only um, I guess you could say achievement because it actually is an achievement. The only the only achievement in this video that actually takes some doing uh, to unlock. And by the way, if you guys haven't um, haven't done this yet. I've already done this, but if uh, if you haven't been in here, there is a little trophy in here, uh, just so you can check that out if you guys want to want to see that. And then um, and then in order to become the Goat King, all you have to do is go all the way up to this tower and go into this seemingly seemingly dumb little uh, little area, this room, which takes you into a castle. Now, the first time I ca came in here, I was like, whoa, that's that's like the coolest thing I have ever seen. And honestly. It's, it actually feels quite awesome that there's, uh, that these little, there's just these little, um, areas of the game that you don't normally see. And, and yes, before you ask, yes, you can literally run down the line and knock over every single goat in line. They aren't tied down at all. You can knock over everything, pretty much. And yes, there is another trophy in here which you can find. Um, and I don't remember if... I actually haven't explored this area, and I don't know if that is actually worth something or if that's just a thing that's just sitting there. Um, I think it's just a thing, because we would have picked it up automatically if it was more than just a thing. But yeah, um, you do want to kind of go around in this area and just kind of headbutt stuff, and just make sure you're not missing anything. Uh, you could also use it for a combo, but honestly, when you're down here, you're not really trying to make, um, you're not trying to get a combo going, you're just trying to, um, become the Goat King anyway. So, in fact, okay, never mind, I thought there was actually something over here. Because I never actually explored that area before, and that trophy was completely new to me, but... All you have to do, basically, is jump on this freaking epic throne, and you get this crazy demonic noise, and you eventually respawn as King Goat, or King of the Ghosts, or whatever you want to call it, and you press R to summon peasants, and as you can see, goats fall from the sky. Now, this also makes you headbutt things quite a bit further, I think. It basically, what it does is make your head, but a lot more powerful. Just demonstrate that real quick on this uh, on this car that's been blown up, because now we should be able to launch it a huge distance. Oh wow, that was okay. Come on. Wow, seriously? Seriously? There we go. Yeah, as you can so as you can see, it makes your head, but a whole lot more powerful. And now what we're gonna do? is we're gonna do the last one, which is the, um, which is the demon goat. Now, what you have to do for the demon goat 
is you have to collect a certain amount of people. Wow, really? Ragdoll? Come on. You have to collect a certain amount of people um, to use as a sacrifice, basically. And once you um, once you actually get that done, then you're granted access to Demon Goat's powers, which are crazy. They're freaking amazing, actually. So, what de being Demon Goat allows you to do, basically, is it gives you... It allows you to basically create this... It just create chaos around everything and just make everything go in random directions all over the place. And by the way, Jetpack along with Demon Goat is like some of the most fun you can ever have in this game. So we're going to go ahead and drop him off right there and go ahead and get the rest of the guys. We need, or well, guys, people. Um, we need five people to activate, um, activate Demon Goat. And thankfully, there's just a ton of people down here uh, at this little party that we can just use to bring right up there. So no problem whatsoever with that. Or at least no problem whatsoever getting getting people up here. It's just the fact that it takes just a little bit of time to do. Drop the second person off. Come on, then. Come on. Jeez. Run, goat. Damn. Jump a freaking tree. And it doesn't really matter if they're standing or just lying down. It doesn't really matter. You just um, take whoever you can find. And finally, you got Party Crasher. I almost took the wrong path. I was like, wait a minute. This isn't the right way, is it? Dang, come on then, sir. Go ahead and drop you off. You just gotta make sure that while you're dropping people off, you don't actually push them out of the circle because then it just won't work. Come on then. Dang. I was trying to jump that freaking tree. Couldn't get up enough speed. Oh, no, I didn't want to... Dang it! There we go. Come on, then, sir. Your sacrifice will be worth it. That was horrible. That was horrible! After this, dude, we're only gonna need one more person. And then I'm gonna be able to show you guys how crazy Demon Goat is. The only problem with Demon Goat is that stuff happens, uh, like, the stuff happening on the screen is just so busy and so crazy that it can, um, it can mess with your FPS sometimes. But, but other than that, Demon Goat is epic. Demon Goat and a jetpack together, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, just, just, I remember doing that and it was the craziest thing ever. Go ahead and drop off the last person. And as you can see, they all go into this crazy little freaking ball. And in a minute, we should get... Oh, yes. Blood for the blood goat. Press R for demonic powers. Hell, yes. Now, let's see where we can test it. That's the only issue now, is to see where we can freaking test these powers. Come on, then. Holy shit. That went up in flames immediately. Just gonna try and get in. Wow, okay. Dang. You dare run over the demon goat? Press R for demonic powers. Did it do anything to the truck? No, but it makes us go freaking crazy. Oh, God. Holy crap. Going freaking insane. We're out of the map. Um, that's. That, yeah, that's not gone well. I'm gonna respawn because demon goat's powers can get a little out of hand. Let me actually see if Demon Goat goes any higher on the trampoline than the regular goat. Whoa. Double backflip. No problem at all. Oh, come on. Knock down the freaking fence. Jeez, I don't know if you guys heard me clicking, but damn. Oh, come on. Get back here. Back here so I can use my freaking demon powers on you. Dang. Oh, get up. Activate demon powers when going into the gas station. Holy crap! Jeez! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, we're freaking flying! Holy crap! Dang, you can see the edge of the map. That's crazy! And land! And just keep going. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Oh, yeah. Some people are about to have their party crashed. That's for sure. 
crashed by demon goat. Oh yes. Um. Help. Help. We appear to be glitched. Very glitched, actually. I don't know if there's any way out of this, to be quite honest with you guys. Maybe becoming Demon Goat again? Nope, we're stuck. We're barricaded in by our own stuff. Um, yeah, respawn again. <laughs> respawn again. Oh, dude, being Demon Goat and going off the treadmill. This is gonna be insane! Woo! Jeez! And this hole, you would think it would actually go somewhere, but it's actually just a fan at the bottom. You just go down into oblivion, and then you just get... You just come back. It's not really that crazy. It's not really that epic. You just kind of come back. Get out. There we go. Jeez. Why did the camera view change? Dang, the camera view changed. That's so weird. I have no idea why the hell it did that. Either way, you shall also come to my... Yes, to my demon goat powers. Yes. Oh, yes. That hasn't worked very well. <laughs> at all. Because every time that tongue jumps, it's crazy. Everything just goes insane. Whoa, we almost went in that freaking air duct or something. I don't even know what it was. I also have no idea why the camera panned out so much. Or at least panned out and won't come back. You're done. Wait a minute, it isn't the cam- It isn't the camera. We've gotten smaller. How the hell's that happened? I don't even know why that happened. Yep, go crazy again. And outside the map again. Get back inside the map. Come on. Latch onto something. I don't even know. Yeah, the goat's freaking retarded at this Oh, God! I'm gonna fall into this hole of oblivion. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We're under the map. Falling for all eternity. Oh, God. Oh, God, this isn't going well. I have no idea how this is going to end up ending. Well, okay, we just respawn in the middle. That's actually went better than I was expecting. I was expecting the game to crash. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.